Hello, today we're going to be talking about groupie strep. Um, can you tell me um, what you know about groupie strep or groupie strep testing in pregnancy? So then I would allow them to tell me what they know. So groupie strep is a bacteria that lives um, in our gut. Men and women can have it. Um, sometimes this growth in our gut doesn't cause any problems. We usually don't even know. Um, but if this bacteria um, gets in our lungs, it can be very serious. So um, in the female anatomy, um, when it's in the gut, sometimes it can um, over-colonize and then grow down the intestines, down the rectum, and then through the anus. So because of women anatomy, our anus and our vagina are very close. So when this bacteria grows out the anus and into the vagina and then colonizes in the vagina, like I said, there's usually no symptoms, we don't even know it, it's not a big deal. But since our babies are born vaginally, if um, we have this overgrowth of bacteria and if the baby contracts it in their mouth or their nose, um, and then if it gets in their lungs, it can cause a very serious infection. So the standard of care in the United States is routine screening um, around 36 weeks. So this includes a vaginal and rectal swab that you can do yourself, I'll show you how to do it. Um, and then if you're positive, if you have this overgrowth, the recommended treatment is antibiotic therapy during labor. So here um, in maternity care, we believe in informed decision-making, informed consent, so we give you all the information, the risks and the benefit, and then we encourage you to make the decision that's right for you. So for GBS testing, um, I am of the mind stand that the more you know about your body, the better. So even if you test positive and you know you're not gonna treat, knowing that you're positive can help you make decisions. And so I feel like the more you know, the better. So for testing, um, you can choose to decline testing if you want, it won't risk you out of care. Um, and then if you are positive, um, you can choose antibiotic therapy if you want, or you can decline antibiotic therapy if you want. And again, neither one will risk you out of care. So if you choose to decline testing, um, or if you choose to decline treatment for a positive result, um, I'm gonna monitor you and for infection. Even if you're negative, I'm gonna monitor you and the baby for infection during labor. So if an infection um, develops and you're showing signs, such as a fever, or um, if the baby's having a hard time stabilizing their heartbeat, these are signs that we would wanna to transfer to the hospital. Um, if you choose to not treat and you say, I just wanna wait and see, and if I'm showing signs of infection or if my water breaks before labor, um, then maybe I'll consider it. That's fine, and you could choose that. Um, but I want you to know that the water, it acts as a barrier for your baby. So if your water's not broken, um, your baby has a very decreased chance of getting this GBS infection. Um, but if your water breaks before your labor begins, now this risk is increased because this barrier is gone. And so these are things that can help you to make an informed decision. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about um, early onset groupie strep disease. So this is what, um, would this is what your baby would have if it got sick from GBS. So it's called early onset group B strep infection. So in babies, um, if they get sick from group B strep, it's gonna manifest in a cry. They're gonna have this high pitch, shrill cry. Um, they're gonna be inconsolable. Um, they might have projectile vomiting. They may be lethargic or have a really difficult time feeding or waking. Um, they might have a rash, um, difficulty breathing. I mean, this is a serious infection, and so that's why the standard of care is to just test across the board and then treat if you're positive. So in other developed countries, they don't always test because the chance of your baby contracting this disease is very, very, very small. But if your baby does contract this disease, it's very, very, very serious. And so that's why we test for it. Um, I'm gonna send you home with these handouts and I encourage you to read through them. And then at our next visit, we'll go through your decision.